Where is your sense of humor, Kyle? Look, there's a long tradition in nightclubs of trying to get out ahead of the audience, right? And these, this is classic nightclub comedy. If you're fat, you go out there and you make the fat joke first, so they right. can't make the joke. So they felt all of our jokes have to be about women, but why can't your jokes just be funny? You, you said that this was a, the night was a deep dive into a pool of estrogen. The show delivered its largest audience in 10 years. How can you complain about that? Well, all I'm saying is if the Golden Globes want straight men like me to watch, they're going to realize that there's, there's two forces at work for award shows, two reasons people watch. One's masculine, one's feminine. The girly reason is, oh, look at Zooey Deschanel's pretty dress or her uh, daisy uh, mannequin. But that's the first reason. The masculine reason, the reason guys are interested in award shows dress. is because five warriors go into the forest and only one can emerge with that bloody trophy and the others are losers because that's life. There's winners and losers. There's competition. What show are you watching? People watch for the fashion. That's why they have the red carpet. The red carpet's not for guys. And then the dress and are they, she, is she going to make it up the stairs? Is she going to cry? They really, women, I think more so, they said women and gay men. That's who really watches award shows. Guys are watching football or something. Well, the football game was over, so I had to watch the Golden Guns. Okay. I didn't watch football. All right, so you said Ricky Gervais. You said it's time for, I think your, your line was, it's time to bring Ricky Gervais, Gervais back because you said um, Gervais reminds us that showbiz, like in life, is, a, is mainly a tale of losers. But I got to say, Ricky Gervais hosted in 2012. Show's ratings went up 17% the next year with Tina and Amy. So someone's enjoying these ladies. Ricky brought the edge back to the show. He brought some, some publicity back to the show, and Tina and Amy kind of built on that. But the award show last night, it spread the awards uh, out among so many uh, TV shows and movies that it was like the Little League moms who insist that every kid has to get the same size trophy. Yeah. If, if everyone's a winner, no one's a winner. Are you a masculinist? Oh, I'm a masculinist. <laughs> That's exactly what I am, though. <laughs>